What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing something simple, but I also need you guys' input on a few things. So what we're going to do, I uh, I got some new door seals for both trucks from LMC. So we're going to install these, see how we like them. Uh, they weren't as expensive as I thought, um, so I hope the quality is good. Um, but before we do that, few things I'm gonna be as far as the channel goes I'm thinking about doing some major upgrades to the OG crew cab such as injectors turbo torque converter head studs valve springs all of the above so comment below let me know what do you want to see as far as combinations injector wise turbo wise on that truck I'm gonna keep it automatic for now uh, thinking of going with a Suncoast torque converter um, but let me know what you think Secondly, I need you guys to comment below. Got another uh, fifth gen console, brand new. And guess what guys, I'm gonna give this one away to you guys. Now, not giving it away immediately. I'm actually gonna start producing some merch, uh, at least some hats and shirts, but I wanna know from you guys, what kind of merch are you guys interested in? Hats, shirts, keychains, cups, mugs, tumblers, Crocs, let me know in the comments what is some cool merch that some other channels have done that you've enjoyed and thought, hey, I'm gonna buy that not only to support the channel, but because I really want something like that. Let me know, give me some ideas. I plan on launching this in the next couple months and there's gonna be a giveaway associated with buying some merchandise for this fifth gen center console, black, brand spanking new. So give me some comments below. I wanna produce some stuff that you guys want, not only to support the channel, but things that you would use or think was pretty cool. So, all right, with that, let's get installing these door seals on the truck and see how they go. All right, I got one of them put on. Very straightforward, just pull the old one off, press the old one on. I leave the gap right here. And as you can see, some of the comments I had seen online from people getting replacement seals is that they were too short. Now, the factory ones, there's actually about a half inch gap between the ends, but this one you can see, they give you plenty of extra. So I'm gonna get some uh, something to cut this with, cut it off right there. But these fit in there really nicely. I mean, you can feel inside here is actually a metal strip that kind of grips onto the uh, edge of the doorway and it's, it fits really nice. So let's cut that off, then we'll put the rest of them in and see how the doors feel and close after that. All right, we got that one in right there. Got the seal plate down. Speaking of which, seal plates. I think I mentioned this. I actually found someone who's gonna machine me some seal plates for the front and rear doors, and he's gonna do inner and outer seal plates. So he said he's not gonna be machining them till mid-May or so, so it may be a little while, but those should be super nice. As soon as I get a hold of those, I'll get you guys the contact information and let you know how much it was and how the quality is. Let's uh let's shut the door and see how it is. The window's open, so that'll rattle just a little bit, but yeah, that so I usually don't shut it that hard, but 
So that shot's really good. Um, I'm curious to see how it is driving because I always get just a little bit of air coming in through here. So I'm curious if it takes care of that. All right, guys, here are all the old door seals. You can see how nasty they were. For the age, honestly, they're not in that bad a shape, but they're old and worn, a lot of cracking in them. So I got them all in, got them on the passenger side as well. And uh, they shut nice and tight. And you can see, I just shut that and it didn't shut all the way. So, so I think I'm gonna have to make a couple striker pin adjustments, move them out just a little bit. There we go. Otherwise, I really have to slam the door. It's the same thing on this one. That one shuts pretty good, but. All right, guys, we got those door seals installed. That was very easy to do. And actually, I, uh, I actually went and took the truck out for a drive and it's a noticeable difference as far as wind noise go. There's no noise coming in from the doors. Uh, my driver wing window has a little bit of noise, so we may address that, and I know a lot of you guys have asked about that, so I think I'll do a video on that here coming up pretty quick, but uh, very good upgrade uh, for the price of these. Uh, the quality is very good. I would highly recommend you do this for your truck. So thanks for tuning into the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, let's get some merch ideas going in the comments. Let's get some ideas for the OG Crew Cab performance-wise in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next video.